New at 6, an update to a KDKA investigation. Police in Hermitage filed charges against a caregiver accused of taking advantage of her client, allegedly stealing money and taking over his home. Andy Sheehan has the very latest. Former home health aide Melissa Miller was entrusted with the care of her elderly client, but now faces up to seven years in jail for ripping him off. Anything you want to say, Melissa? Arraigned this morning on charges of theft by deception for milking his bank accounts. I just flat got took. People robbed me left and right. Two months ago, we told you about retired Army veteran Don Cameron and how Miller had been assigned to care for him, but soon moved her entire family into his home. Don then signed this power of attorney, which gave Miller complete control over his finances. Cameron's stepdaughter, Nadine Carson, showed us pages of bank statements with withdrawals and charges at restaurants, convenience stores, even the Cleveland Air Show and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. At the same time, utilities went unpaid and Cameron's car was repossessed. They've stripped everything from this man. Everything. Everything. His life, he worked for this his whole life, it's gone. His home, his cards, his property, they've destroyed it and now they won't leave. Now Hermitage police have charged Miller with felonies for the unauthorized withdrawals of more than $2,000 from Cameron's bank account and more than $6,000 from his credit union. While her husband Chuck says the couple took care of Cameron and that he okayed the purchases. He was paying all of his bills. He was not in arrears and after you guys he moved was. in, he was. All of his money is He was in all arrears. of his money is gone. He has no money. He's broke. He's broke? He is. He gets money every month. How's he broke? Meanwhile, the Millers have been served and are being evicted from Cameron's house. And Carson hopes Melissa Miller lands in jail. I feel like maybe justice will prevail in this case, and I hope it does. And perhaps it will serve as a warning to those who would exploit the vulnerability of the elderly that that kind of behavior won't be tolerated and will be prosecuted. In Mercer County, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.